What's going on, everybody? I know it's a little bit late, but I wanted to show you guys the Silver Surfer Silver Surfer deck that I've been playing this season. Sorry, it's pretty early in the morning. My brain is still waking up. Um, so I'm going with the kind of more play the good three drops approach. Um, it's a mixture of play the highest power three drops with the play the tech card three drops. Um, so your tech cards, you've got Cosmo to stop on reveal abilities. You've got to be careful with Cosmo though, because you don't want to turn off your Silver Surfer or make it impossible to, to trigger. Uh, you've got Killmonger to destroy all one cost cards. As you can see, we play zero one cost cards. Um, Polaris, I wouldn't really call the tech card, but it kind of disrupts your opponent a little bit. Uh, this is also the, the Polaris variant. I was waiting for it forever, so I'm happy I finally have this one. Um, and then you also have that little mini package of Storm plus Juggernaut that you can pull off, which is also pretty solid. Uh, Groot, I'm actually not fully sold on. Groot is pretty solid most of the time. Um, but I also feel like I've been super tempted to mix in either like a Nakia or a Rogue. Um, even something like Mr. Fantastic or Punisher. There's a lot of three drops that I'm really tempted to test out. I haven't really done a lot of work with them quite yet to really test them out. You could even do like a Kingpin Polara situation. Um, that's a really long-winded way of saying the one card, everything in the deck has performed pretty well um, with the exception of Groot being the, the flex slot for me at the moment. Um, you could also potentially like swap out your Daredevil for like Nikoye or something if you want to. Um, Daredevil is just there to make sure we continue to, to uh, see what play. It kind of sets up Groot as well. If you hold Groot for turn 5, you can kind of get a guaranteed Groot, mate, which makes him better. It's just not something I'm fully sold on. The general purpose of the deck though is play your 3 drops on turn 5 you want to play Sarah if you have her so then you can play 3 three drops on 6 then you want to set up your Wolfsbane to be pretty chunky, Maximus to be pretty chunky, and then Silver Surfer will often just flip multiple lanes, if not all the lanes because Silver Surfer is incredible uh, I also might even consider dropping Groot for like a Wong or something to try and double Silver Surfer, but that just felt a little too greedy because it would really just be for, for Silver Surfer. There's nothing else I can really take advantage of uh, Wong with in this deck. Well, let's hop on. Let's get some games. Let's see how we do. Uh, other decks I've got coming at some point. Uh, we have a Luke Cage hazmat type deck uh, that has Absorbing Man in it. That one's pretty fun. Uh, I think that's the main new one that I've been playing. I've been playing the Galactic Galactus deck a lot still. Just because I think Galactus is really, really fun to play. My card that got dropped was Jug, right? I believe it was Jug. Oof. That might actually be game losing right there. We'll see. Or this is a bot. Could have used Polaris to pull this over. Ah, oh, there we go. That's what we needed. I'm gonna wait till turn six to do it though. Oh, that worked anyway. Yeah, that's a bot. <laughs> We're gonna kill everything. Obviously the locations didn't play nice and we got benefited by playing a bot there, but I'll take it. Eight cubes or eight cubes. I might actually try and rank up a little bit this season. Normally I don't care about ranking up, but leveling down so far every season makes it hard to record well. Um, so I might try and rank up a little bit this season. Which also means playing less really bad decks, which is not as fun. Sometimes your boy just wants to hazmat all day every day. Got a Nightcrawler. 
That could be a problem. We don't have Silver Surfer in hand. Goose isn't something we care about, though. There's only... Oh. Embassy with Brood is so good. Uh, let's try and make them draw some rocks. No, this helps them out. Oh, this is beautiful. <clears throat> Try and hit a group here. And we're not gonna play anything. We do have Silver Surfer, so that's pretty good. I probably should have just saved Groot and gone for like Brood or something this turn. What do we got? Iron Man. That lane might just be dead. No Sarah before this turn. I think this has to be uh, Killmonger Silver Server every time. But we're going to get a retreat. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Let's get another one. Playing against Rylan now. Alright, we have Sarah this time, which is nice. Tinkerer's Workshop does let us get Daredevil out early, but... Okay. We can play this out. Um, without Surfer, this is a little worrying. But if we do draw Surfer, we have a very nice hand for all this. And there we go. That's a little annoying, but we drew our main cards that we need. So that's pretty good. Let's just play out Maximus. I don't really like giving them more cards right now, but they have, we have our main payoff card, so they can draw more cards from our deck and it's not gonna help them too, too much. Oh, they have their own Polaris. Storm is pretty sweet. Wait, oh, yeah, I can start getting our cards back if I do that. Probably should have considered not doing that, though. Oh, they're going to Storm as well. Skip out on Sarah this game. I think with that play, which does look like a bot play, I will just play Brood. And probably Snap as well. Just give him five in the middle. The next turn we'll play Monger and Surfer. to play. We're going to be destroying two from this lane, so it'll be three versus seven to start, then we're going to add another nine. And also they have to get something in each of these lanes. Normally I would have snapped, but I don't like snapping turn five. Especially if this happens to be a bot, this potentially scares them away. I honestly feel a little bad, because the three games we've played so far haven't really been like spectacular showings, although the deck does just win a good amount. 
Uh, let's get one last one. I feel like these games are going pretty quick, even by snap standards. wish Silver Surfer and Maximus switched spots, because that would have been incredible, but now Maximus is just a dead card. We do have Sarah, so that's something. Now we hope we don't draw Daredevil anymore, more than likely, because I'd rather just keep getting three drops if I have Sarah. Crimson Cosmos is very bad for us. If they're trying to go for discards, I feel like they have to play in this lane. Obviously, they can't play a 4-drop. You're not going to play a discard card into Cosmo. Okay. I really can't storm this love lane because this is where we have to get our surfer going. So I'm just gonna go with that for now. I know it looks like a weird play, but it's really just getting a three drop out there that we can buff. consider just dropping this here and next turn would be like brood and surfer here we'd only get partial brood value but that's fine Oh, I screwed that up badly, actually. I played that in the wrong order. How bad could I be? It doesn't matter, but how bad could I be? That was a very, very bad ordering. I haven't made a mistake that poor in a long time. Wowzers. Alrighty guys, well, that is going to be it for the Silver Surfer deck. Um, it's a lot of fun. Uh, I still, as you can see, I got Bast pinned in my shop. Uh, I want to grab Bast, and then there's a couple other Silver Surfer decks that I want to mess around with once I can unlock Bast. Um, probably Silver Surfer negative would be something I want to try as well. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be it for now. Thank you all so much for watching. Consider subscribing if you're new to the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.